everyone and welcome to more Dark Souls Remastered bonus content where we are going to take on the Bell Gargoyles uh, so we can go and ring the first bell. Uh, last bonus episode uh, we got the... Uh, we got to meet Darkstalker Karth and took on the Four Kings. Uh, no match for Havel's set, baby. <laughs> so we took on uh, Four Kings out of order so we could uh, join the Darkstalker Covenant um, and be set on a different type uh, of quest, uh, unlike Frampt, wanting us to continue the Age of Fire. Karth wants us to bring in the Age of Dark. Um, so we're going to ring the bells so we can get Sin's Fortress open make our way through there um, and get to uh, Anor Londo so we can destroy the illusion that is Guinevere, uh, get ourselves the Lord Vessel, um, and uh, from there, from there, we can proceed to get more Lord Souls. Obviously, there's one big obstacle in the way of getting to Guinevere, and that's Ornstein and Smo. Uh, so we're also going to try and take them on in a rematch and see how long it takes in a New Game Plus scenario. I think it'll be easier because we'll be doing it in the way that is apparently easier by taking out um, Ornstein. Ornstein first. That's apparently how it's pronounced because we can't pronounce it properly in English. We say Ornstein, but it's Ornstein because it's not double E N, it's E I N. Just to the to the people that do correct me in the comments, pronunciation is a thing. Potato, potato, at at adat. Uh, it's it's it is what it is. Regardless, let's take on this bell gargoyle with a lightning spear because I have the power of lightning now. Uh, so we'll make hopefully hopefully quick work of the guy. Hello, buddy. I'm going to hopefully take you out really quickly so we can deal with your friend. Uh, we don't have to bother taking the tail off because we already have a tail axe uh, from our last playthrough going through Anor Londo. Alright, let's, let's do it. Oh, I missed the timing on that one. Quick, get more stabs. Get one more. Alright, he's out. Broken boy's coming for us. I got the gargoyle helm again. Nice. Let's not do... Let's not do fire breath, buddy. And there we go, bitch. Woo! Gargoyles, Howard. Got him! Twin humanities. Oh, quick, hang on. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, wrong one. I think I might have just missed that one. That's fine. I had the ring on, so that's okay. I had the ring on. I kind of wish that they were closer together, but that's fine. 60k, 60k. Let's go ring our, let's go ring our first bell. Hope you guys are enjoying the New Game Plus uh, adventures as well. Uh, it's a way to actually uh, make me go back to the to the games with like less breaks in between. So I'm like, yeah, I'll jump back on Dark Souls and like record me doing this. Uh, that's fine. And it's it's super interesting to then look at the comparison of how far I've come. Um, like New Game Plus, they are tougher, but also I know how to fight them. I'm also fighting them with a spear. Uh, with an element that they're weak to, uh, so it's it's all it's all fun and games. It's it's cool to just take on an enemy that gave me a lot of a lot of strife, and there was a, there was a lot to learn because I think the, we took on the gargoyles in my third episode, uh, so I was still very new, adjusting to what was actually going on, and like. I was like, yeah, I need fire bombs, says the literal pyromancer, you know, like it's it's stuff like that that's like very common sense um, when people like know the game, you know, uh, but I just think, I just think it's funny when it's just like me like, yeah, I really need fire bombs for this fight. I desperately need to throw stuff at a distance and it's like, dude, 
you can throw fireballs, man. Like, it's okay. <laughs> you have pyromancy. It took me a long time to get comfortable and actually figure out um, how good pyromancy is, you know. Greetings, Greetings Oswald of Karim. Hmm. Has no acquaintance with Petrus of Thurn. So he tells us this early. I should have spoken to him at this point. Check that out. Is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> we're at the point, uh, we're at the point where um, Petrus has returned. Um, Petrus has returned uh, to Firelink Shrine after leaving um, and saying, Ooh, I lost my lady. She's gone. Thou art welcome. Any to do that. <laughs> it is only human to commit a sin. His voice is so good. Always quality voice acting. Anyway, that's the first bell down. Uh, now I can move through Blight Town, except I'm gonna do it the the smart way this time, and we're gonna take the we're gonna take the shortcut, so I don't have to go through the the terrible uh, the terrible entrance to Blight Town. We can just skip it, rush through. Take on Quilag. Um But before that, I think I'm gonna... Um, we're gonna try visit... I think it's like Snuggly or like some bird or something at the Undead Asylum. Because I think we need to trade something to get the old Witch's Ring. Uh, so we can talk to uh, Quilag's sister. Uh, so I'm also gonna try and do that. So let's see how we go. All right, let's have let's have a chat. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. Um. Does that mean I? Because we have to trade a sunlight maggot to get the old witch's ring. It's really interesting to see how this ties together, right? Because your first experience with the sunlight maggot for most people will be around the time when it's too late to save Solaire. And he's got one. And you get this. And then in a new game plus, you trade it to get the old witch's ring. To then understand what Quilag's sister is saying. To then join her covenant to offer her humanity to level up to the point where she opens that door for you and you can save Solaire. Uh, that's without, obviously, if you just don't do the poison mist through the door thing. Like, that. this seems like the actual proper way to do it. Uh, I'm assuming we drop the item into the nest. for something to happen. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay, I'm not... I'm not sure. How do we... How do we initiate... How do we initiate the trade? Uh, I will just be right back and I'll actually look up how to do the trade. Okay, so the answer that I've been provided is you drop it into um, the nest. But then you have to you have to trigger a, a loading screen, uh, which can either be done through death or saving. So I'm just going to quit the game. Okay, we are now here. Yeah, and there's an item in its place. You give me warm, give me soft. Nice. Here we go. Old witch's ring. Um, the starting item that we probably should have just gone with from the beginning would have probably uh, been the been the way to go. I think. Um, let's have a look. 
an old ring with no known use, engraved uh, minutely with indecipherable script, but seemingly useless. Seemingly useless. Um, okay, I'm going to make my way back to Firelink. Um, we'll curl up like a ball, and we'll get out of here. Um, so there you go. Um, traded the traded the sunlight maggot. Now take the shortcut to Blight Town. Uh, rematch Quillog. Unfortunately, murder her to get to her sister, and then we'll be like, "Hey, what's up? Oh, your sister? I, I I'm not sure, man. She like tripped and fell her on her on her own shears. Like it was. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, and then we'll uh." We'll be able to save Solaire in my New Game Plus playthrough, which is cool. And I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. But the fact that I didn't take damage on that pillar that I hit, I was like, I wonder if I'm even going to take damage this time. Um, but uh, but I did. <laughs> anyway, um, on to Blight Town. Oh, and just just quickly, uh, while we're while we're here, you know, you leave me in the just while we're here. See you later. Goodbye. I mean, he kind of did that to himself. Uh, he kind of he kind of did that one to himself. He rolled off the cliff um, and died. So we can we can just give that one we can just give that one to him. He decided to peace out of our fight, um, but we're not having the our beautiful firekeeper uh, get murdered. I wonder if he would. Does that mean he drop like? I wonder what he drops. I'm pretty sure because he's fallen off the cliff, we have to quit. Yes, uh, so we quit and loot back in, and then his loot is there. Five humanity, a second ring of favor and protection. I wonder if we can... It'd be interesting for us to chuck both on. Yeah. Cool. Put another one on. <laughs> All right, let's go take on let's go take on Quillog. How are we gonna do? Another another boss that gave me a lot of trouble, and was that because I was using the S stock? Uh, probably, but S stock is the best stock, and uh, I won't hear any trash talking on a weapon that managed to get me quite far. Um, and I think it's funny that I was making the game. Uh, harder. It's making the game harder uh, because I'm like, yeah, let's do a let's do a low damage output weapon, dude. Let's do a low damage output weapon. Okay. I just gonna just gonna just gonna relearn this fight real quick. Just gonna just just gonna relearn this fight real quick. I did not even have a chance there. If you're stuck in the lava, if you're stuck in the lava, oh man, oh, I'm, in, I'm such an idiot. I didn't even go to the Blight Town bonfire. I'm such an idiot. Um, I just rushed right in there because I was like, <laughs> every time I get overconfident, I eat my own words. Um, okay, didn't get Quillag first try, and I deserved that. Um, let's try again. All right, let's uh, let's try that one again. Let's try that one again. A little bit better this time. If I can avoid, apparently I just can't avoid that. I swear I've been able to avoid that in the past. Yep, yeah, you do you do your thing. You do your thing. I'm just going to stab you. You keep doing your thing. Check her damage resistance out. Oh, yep, that's a... yep. Man, I'm really relearning all of her moves, huh? And, yep. I'm just gonna avoid that. Okay, I need to remember that there's a specific spot that I can stand in. There's a specific spot that I can stand in. Which was, like, right on the side. If I stand right here, I should be okay. Oh no, don't dodge into the fire, you idiot. Oh, that fire's still there. Yep. That's good. Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna explode. 
And wow, yeah. Drink from the flask, baby. Drink from the juice. Oh, and I'm trapped in the wall. Ooh, I actually really thought that that was gonna. Ooh, that killed me. Wow. I got bumped there, which stopped me. Too slow, too slow. She's she's strong. She's strong. Um, I might switch to. I might use a different weapon. We might we might do gold tracer. We'll see if some quick little dancing moves might be better than stabbing moves. Okay, Quillag, we get it. You're you're pretty fit, powerful. You're pretty powerful. I'll give you that. You're a pretty powerful opponent. But are you any match for the gold tracer? Probably. Oh, god damn it. It's so interesting having to relearn the bosses again. Oh, the fire, the fire, dude. Wow. Oh, God, I missed that. I missed the strike. I was like, ah, I just missed. Soul of Quilag. Here you go, third try. Third try. Bouncing on that fire um, behind me. Almost completely, almost completely threw me off. Third try, switch to a gold tracer. Didn't put on my uh, correct helmet for more souls, but that's fine. Because now we get to ring this bell and have it crash down. Hello, bell. Crash. Ding dong. There it be. Okay, Sin's Fortress. Time to time to open up. And we can take on the Iron Golem. Sigma will be so happy. Sigma will be so happy. Uh, we got to try and we have to try and find him because apparently he's in Sen's fortress, but we missed we missed that encounter. Uh, so I'll try and have a look. Uh, I'll try and have a look for him. Thank you for crashing. Big old noise. Down we go. Okay, now we know we know what to do this time. We don't murder. We don't murder unsuspecting people in cold blood okay we say yes and he lets us through and then I've got myself another pyromancy merchant that I can actually talk to <laughs> yay oh dear what have we here are you a new servant see I was like bruh I ain't no slave but you have no eggs. Ah, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Now, do we have to be wearing the ring? Probably. Let's chuck the ring on. I'll just rest here first. You don't mind if I rest here at your bonfire first, my lady? Let's have a chat to him, actually. What is it? Go along and meet our fair lady. Do we have to be part of the Covenant for him to be nice to us? Because then I'll just have to rejoin the Darkstalker Covenant again. Quilag. There we go. Dear sister. Quilag. 
Look, what is it? Quailag, my dear sister, the eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid it may be too late. I am so sorry, dear sister. I'll be fine. I have you, dear sister. But promise me that you will take care of yourself. I'll be fine. I'm sorry, uh, that might not be possible. Bye, Quailuck. It was so very nice to chat. So she thinks that we're Quailag. She's like, goodbye, it's so very nice to chat. Is that because Quailag's the only one that has the ability to chat to her? So maybe she's like, she got her eyes closed, she just assumes. That's sad. You, you speak the tongue of the fair lady? Well. Do not be rash with your pride. You have yet to earn my trust. If you try anything funny with the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. Nice. Servant roster. Check servants of the daughters of chaos. There is no time for idle chat. Think only of our fair lady and what she may need. So we can only buy one thing from him. I'm assuming maybe we have to be part of the Covenant. There is nothing to say to you, except if you lay a hand on the fair lady, you should be prepared to face my wrath. In another life, sir, I made very quick work of you. Don't push it. Um, so I'm assuming that's how we get that door open. How much humanity are we sitting on? We're sitting on quite a bit. We've got like 51. But we also need to give humanity to Karth. Um, so there you go. Okay. Let's... Oh, don't mind me. Let's enter the Covenant, because... Whatever. <laughs> and then we can we can always go back to Darkstalker Karth after. Enter a Covenant again. Of course. Let me try. Got him. Will it give me another Chaos Flame? So, offer humanity. How many humanities would you like to offer? Um, I'm just going to quickly check how much we need to give her. Okay, so apparently we need to give 10 to get to rank 1. Um, and then uh, another 20 to get to uh, rank 2. We need to be, uh, we need to be rank 2. Yeah, she thinks we're Quelag. That's interesting. Um, so we also have to be... Give her 20 to get to rank 2. We have to be rank 2 to get that door open. I'm just going to use some twin humanities as well while we're here. I don't know if we have to offer them in parts first. Let's just be safe. We'll offer a 10. Oh, thank you, Quayla. Covenant Allegiance deepened. Rank gained. Nice. I'll we'll offer another 20. Ooh, Pyromancy Chaos Storm. Oh, thank you, Quayla. Rank gained. Goodbye, Quayla. Do be safe. Uh, do we just... Tr hang on, let me attune the magic first, because... <laughs> what did we just get? Got a goddamn Chaos Storm. 
Art of the Flame of Chaos, which engulfed the Witch of Izalith and her daughters. Um, erect localized Chaos Fire Pillars. The Witch of Izalith, in an ambitious attempt to copy the first flame, created instead uh, the Flame of Chaos, a twisted bed of life. So it's essentially just going to be like the Firestorm, but like Chaos Fire version, and it uses two slots again. Cool. Cool. Uh, so if we go through, do we have access to here now? No? Ah, uh, maybe we should just talk to her now that we're ranked 2. And also talk to... Engie. Oh, my dear sister. You know, I still remember your beautiful, silky face. If only I could gaze upon it once more. Oh. Okay, I just looked it up and I realized that that wall will never open and it's just kind of left there for no reason. But when we actually go down uh, into um, the demon ruins, it's that door like that you're literally on the other side of that doesn't open. That's the door that we can open. So when we go down there, we can open it and kill the sunlight maggots um, and that'll, that'll save time, which is good. So we've done that. So I believe now that we've, I've already done that, that's chill. Um, and now I can uh, proceed through to uh, through to Sen's fortress and then into Anor Londo. Some of you have been waiting a little while for this moment. There it is. I got the gold serpent ring. Um, boosts item discovery. Uh, more items can be amassed. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, we're now going to go find uh, our lovely friend Sigmire, uh, and then push through Sen's Fortress. Uh, apparently I missed my opportunity to talk to, um, talk to our boy Sigmire, and that's what I get for not looking everything up <laughs> of how to make interactions happen. I think you're supposed to reach him before you get to this room and start redirecting the boulders, uh, unfortunately. Um, so that's, that's alright. Uh, I, at this point I'm just trying to do stuff for the sake of actually doing it, like getting what I missed last time, but I missed it again. Uh, but that's okay because we've actually we've seen I've seen the bits and pieces, obviously, um, by watching like that lore video with Sigmire. Um, but yes, we have missed that encounter, so there's no reason for us to be here anymore, and we can proceed to the Iron Golem. All right, Iron Golem time. Iron Golem time. Let's take on the big boy. Hello, big boy. God damn. Hello, big boy. Now, apparently we're able to get him... Apparently you can get him to fall off. Which is, which is cool. I don't know how to get him to do that, though. I guess... I assume... How did he... How did he... How did he pick me up? I was between his legs. Is between the legs, but that's fine. Um, yeah, not particularly sure. I'm assuming he must have like the ability to jump backwards in his move set. But, uh, obviously, obviously, we're doing it. We're doing it without cheating. It's not cheating, but you know what I mean. Eat him properly, is what I'm saying. With a pointy stick! With a pointy stick that doesn't even really do much damage to him. That's how we'll beat him. With the power of love and lightning. Oh, there you go. He did like a step back. He actually almost... He almost fell off there. Oh, there you go. He was close. He was close. Core of an iron golem. There we go. 
da 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 da. How many? 172,000, baby. Nice. Ornstein makes his way up to An Orlando. Bam! Ready to go say hello to the lovely, lovely Guinevere after we get through Ornstein. The real Ornstein and Smo. And then I'm one step closer to my... One step closer to my lovely lovely painted world where I can grind out some souls to my heart's content. Uh, but there you go, I made it to An Orlando. Um, and then all I have to do is kn I know exactly where I can go. We can go into the painting guardians hall uh, and we can and we can skip the painting guardians hall. Um, take on a gargoyle, pull up a lift, run into the Anor Londo Arches. Ugh. The Anor Londo Arches. Pain. Uh, and then Ornstein. And Smo. Hello, damn. Hello, Bonfire. We should probably kindle this one so we can get 20. We weren't able to kindle it last time when I was doing my run because we had to murder this person. Got on fucking Dark Moon Covenant. Welcome. If you ex if you are the chosen one, what follows there? Are hmm. What is it? What am I? If not for me, a gate. You're evil. We're gonna try and join the Dark Moon Covenant this time as well, though. Um, before we proceed, we need to make sure that we do everything else before we do that. Um, but let's um, do a couple of these bad boys. I wonder if we've, uh, have I, yes, I have kindled this bonfire once. I've kindled this bonfire once. So we'll kindle it two more times to get the 20. And then I'll also level up while I'm here. Because I've been using the spear. And I might continue to use the spear, even in the Ornstein fight. Otherwise, I'll use the dagger. Uh, I'm going to chuck a couple of points into Faith. Faith, 30. I believe with Faith, uh, 30, we can now use the Sunlight Blade. Miracle wielded by Lord Gwyn's firstborn. Boost right weapon with rays of sun. Uh, so we can now chuck a talisman on to get Sunlight Blade. Um, let's have a look. So, have I got a talisman in my inventory? Oh, I forgot to look at Dark Hand. 999 durability. The Dark Wraiths incited by Karth use the power of the Dark Soul to absorb humanity and art shared by this weapon, which also acts as a special shield. The Ancients particularly could sap the humanity or even replete Saint in the blink of an eye. Oh, you can steal humanity. That's Life Drain. There you go. Does 200 physical damage as well, holy shit. That's cool. Uh, I forgot that I even got that one. And Sunlight Talisman. Um, attune magic. Sunlight Blade. All right, so. Oh, hang on. Is this not... Oh, silly me. No, wait. No, this is right. It's a miracle. Boosts right weapon with right... Oh, no, hang on. I know exactly what I need to do. Duh. Equip the talisman in the left hand. Oh, maybe it's only particular weapons. Huh? Uh, is it a particular weapon? What am I doing wrong here? 
Oh, hang on. There we go. Yes. So it's a it's particular weapons that we can do sunlight blade on. So a store a straight sword, no. But sunlight straight sword, yes. Um, but also it's weak. Um, good thing I can level it up. Good thing there's also a giant blacksmith here. So we can take it to other levels. But there you go. So it's going to be weaker than what I'm using. But we can do this. So we can now use the Sunlight Blade. I'm not sure. I guess it'll run out at some point. And it's only got one use. Let's uh, try it. On this dude. Hello. Let's try. Let's, let's do battle. Cool. Stick me in this corner, please. Okay. It's effective. I'll give it that much. It is It is an effective weapon. Um, I believe that's basically like... Because it's doing like lightning stun noises. And that's how long it lasts for. Uh, I'm not going to use it in the fight. But we can use it. Uh, at least going forward. Uh, so that's cool. That's what our faith rewards us with. Lightning blade. Blade of pure sunlight. Um, that's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, but we'll probably stick with uh, stick with what we know and love. I feel, especially for a fight of uh, that I just know is going to be painful. The lightning spear, though, we could do that. Rare lightning damage. Magic fire and most of all dragons. We'll just have to see how much I get absolutely wrecked by um, by the the pals guarding Guinevere. Uh, so I'm gonna push my way onto them now. Okay, everybody. Anno Londo archers. Anno Londo. Anno Londo. Anno Londo. The Anno Londo Archer's Song. <sighs> okay. Um, honestly, just the best thing to do might be just to play it safe. And by play it safe, I mean what if we like rush through, rush to that one on the right, on that pillar there, just try and like block him to either get him to fall down or like to push him off or to stab him and then we just run past him. And then we just forget about the other dude. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not I'm not hugely I'm not hugely confident. Not hugely confident, especially for the first for the first try, where I just don't want to, I just want to focus on not falling off. Oh my god, why did he, why didn't he switch to a sword and shield? Why didn't he switch to a sword? He just, he was actually committed to trying to shoot me. That's really weird behavior, dude. Okay, we didn't get to, we didn't get past him first try. Because for some reason, he's going to keep shooting. And I bet you the next time I go up to him, he will change <laughs> He will change tactics immediately. Because that's how, uh, that's how this game works. Let's try again. Round two, baby. Round two, baby. Oh. Round two, baby. Round two, baby! Ah, uh, that was that was bad luck. I was not quick. Round three, baby! Round three. Round three. 
Round three. Round three. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> no! For fuck's sake, dude! Oh my god. Oh, The dude who shot me in the back. Okay, maybe I should just be going for the dude on the left first. Both, both are catastrophic. This is the impatient part of me that's like, I've done this before, can we just push past it and do it again? Except, no, we can't. We have to just let it happen. The archers are never fun. Round four, baby! Round four, baby! Round four! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Kind of just trapped. I'm just like, I'm literally like trapped. <laughs> that one was, that one was fucked. I was like, they're shooting completely out of order where I'm down on the ground, one shooting me, I'm not taking damage, but the moment I stand up, I'm gonna get shot. And I can't really have opportunity to heal. Yeah, we just need to brute force the dude. We just need to brute force the one on the right. Okay, next attempt, next attempt, next attempt, next attempt. Okay, we make it up here. He shoots. We defend. He knocks us back and there you go, he switches his tactics. He switches his tactics. And I'm gonna get shot in the back or something. <gasps> Woo! That dude just bounced off the wall. He just goddamn bounced off the wall, honestly. <laughs> he out of here. <gasps> nice. Nice. Done. I can even hear the bonfire. How nice is that? Welcoming. Hello, my friend. Hello. I'm here. I made it. Woo. Let's chill around the bonfire, shall we, Solaire? Hello. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Woo! I'm going to relish the chance to save your life, sir. You really are fond of chatting with me, huh? If I didn't <laughs> I think you had feelings for me. I love it. Cool. I made it past the archers, we've rung both the bells to get here, uh, and now what lies ahead is navigating through Anno Londo a little bit more to get to the lovely Ornstein and Samo. So I'm going to end this little bonus episode here, get making our way through to the Anno Londo bonfire after the archers. I just needed to get that little headache out of the way, because that's always a big one. Luckily didn't give me as much pain and suffering as my first go at it. Uh, but yeah, I I will definitely share the uh, Ornstein, Ornstein and Smo experience with you uh, when I when I pick the game up and uh, and get there again. That'll be great. We'll get the Lord Vessel. Uh, we've already got one Lord Soul, three more to go. Uh, and then we can, uh, you know, I can do everything else in my own time, but we should try and save Solaire and then we can summon our boy to fight with us against Gwyn. That's ultimately the goal. But guys, thank you so much for watching another bonus episode of Dark Souls Remastered, and uh, I'll see you for the Ornstein and Smo rematch.